Whispers in my head. What you gonna do? So take it, kid. Good morning, it's a new day. I have been just painting a lot. So I wanted to have a kind of like Sunday reset type of video yesterday. And what I meant as far as Sunday reset was just like getting the house together. But then I just decided to finish a lot of projects. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've done up until this point and then I will see you in a few okay so like I said in my last video that I finally decided to paint the doors white so that is what I'm gonna do right now I started out painting the trim white and I was gonna finish the door the same color it is right now which is the same color that is in the cab or er, in the kitchen on the cabinets in the kitchen and I was showing you guys that that's how far I got on the hallway. And I got so much done this weekend. So I, although I do feel bad for not uploading a like Sunday reset like I had planned. And I know I didn't upload like any videos in quite a few days. But I can't be mad at myself for it because I got so much done you guys. And this was much needed. So I'm just going in and using this Ultra White by Glidden that my husband had bought me. And that is what I'm using to paint all the trim and the doors. So let's get into it. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. We had never met before that time.
So I feel like already you can see a difference. It makes it look so much brighter in that area. And I just feel like happier seeing the white rather than seeing the gray. Because I mentioned in my last video, it kind of was pulling off a little purple. In my kitchen, it doesn't look purple. It kind of looks gray, but it's actually like a grayish kind of color. But I like it a lot. I do wish I had a brighter light in that little area. And I this is as bright as I could make it on video. But yeah, I like it a lot. And I'm really glad that I did this right now. I have to let the dog in and then I will start painting this door, these French doors. I already did put one coat at this point. And as you can see, the hinges, I scraped the paint off the hinges as best as I could. And I feel like that makes a difference too. And on the front door, I did scrape the middle hinge, but I still have to scrape the top and the bottom off. It just takes a long time and my hand was killing me. I painted so much. Um, by the way, I said that this is what I got done so far on the hallway, but I actually completed the hallway. So you guys will see that and I just, I'm so much happier. You know, and the funny thing is I did not actually want to do any of this. As in, I didn't feel like I had the energy to do this. So one trick that I do is I just tell myself like it's my job. I just tell myself I'm doing this for someone else. Like if I pretend I'm at someone else's house and I'm getting paid to do this, it kind of... <laughs> kind of works. I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's my little trick. If you guys need a little trick to get motivated, just pretend you're at someone else's house. And if you have to clean your house and you're not in the mood, pretend that you only have so long to clean it and that's your job and you're getting paid to do it. That will motivate you. And the bummer is you're not really getting paid <laughs> unless you're monetized on YouTube, but it helped. And I, the more that I did stuff like when I got the front door painted, it motivated me to do more. So as soon as I got one thing done, I was motivated to do all the rest. But I tell you what, I am sore. <laughs> My right wrist is like killing me, but I don't regret it. I feel so much happier with it being so bright and white. And the funny thing is these used to be white. I should have just left it. But you know what? You live and you learn. You go through the colors that you feel like would work and you realize sometimes that they don't work and they're not really you and then you can just, it takes time <laughs> and patience, but you eventually figure out what works for you and your family. Also, I should probably mention that with all these home projects and home improvements that I'm doing, I just randomly started doing the dishes as well because this was meant to be a Sunday reset um, and... <laughs> So here I am putting dishes away and I do the dishes real quick, clean up the kitchen as much as I can. And then I realize, you know what? I just need to finish painting all this stuff. So that is what I'm doing right here. I'm around from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now.
Okay, so another thing I mentioned in one of my last videos is this curtain here under our sink. The cabinet doors had broken, and I'm going to show you that in a second. I ended up, actually my husband helped me. He glued it back together, and it looks fine right here, except the side piece is missing, but actually all four sides could come off of that thing easily. So he had glued it back together. That's what we're going to be doing right now. And I hope to have those up as soon as I can. I do have to get another hinge though. And then also I showed that I painted one whole coat on the front and back all the way around this door to the garage here. And I was trying to show you guys that I did tape up the glass and I believe this was actually two coats on the back door. And I was showing you guys the front door think I took the tape off at this point but I was showing you I tried to scrape up the floor as best as I could and I was showing you what I have done so far in the hallway I still at this point have to get into my son's room and put his door on so that is what I'm going to be doing right now Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name Okay, don't mind the noise in the background, it's the fish tank, but right here I am filling up an empty mustard bottle so we can pour the wood glue a lot easier, and then my husband will be the one, because I was only aware that at this moment I only seen two pieces were um, just kind of like two pieces needed to be, you know, glued on, and then it was like that whole corner, and then the other two, as you can see the whole center of the cabinet door is on the table there. So I asked for my husband to help me on this because I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> I mean, I probably could have done it, but he is just better with stuff like that. So he is helping me do that right now.
Okay, so I decided to paint. I have probably one or two more coats on each side of these cabinets. So that's what I'll be doing today. I will not be hanging these up today because my son and I went to the place where we can find like really cheap hinges. I need one more to match the other ones that I have. But that's what I have going on right now. My son just vacuumed earlier. Um, floors are a disaster because the dog's tracking in mud and whatnot. But that is what I've got going on. I was going to um, kind of clear off a lot of things like I don't want the dog toys there I don't want the Christmas tree on top of a chair I was thinking of putting the Christmas tree away until we just get our own big Christmas tree and one thing I did do is that tree that was in that corner there I actually put that in my room and I put some lights on it and I put it in front of those like um what are they called they're not called French doors little like cafe doors I can't really show you right now because my daughter's asleep but I can kind of show you. Let me turn that real quick. Okay, so that's how I have the tree for now. It looks really nice in our room because I wanted to kind of declutter the dining room a little bit. Another thing I did is I scraped off, you can still kind of see it, but I scraped off paint that was on the edge of the counter, um, anywhere on the counters, and then I wiped down my toaster. I put away the coffee maker that was right here. I cleared out some of the stuff except for plants in the dry, dried flowers and then the knives from up there in the window. And I scraped paint off of two of these as much as I could. This is exactly the style that I need. So I have one of these in my purse that I can bring with me the next time the place is open. So I can find one hopefully that matches. And um, I took this stuff off of the island. This, the garlic and onion bowl and all the cutting board was on the island. I had a bunch of these things stuck in the window over there. Kind of have had a lot going on. I've got to clear my shoes, put those in my room, but I can't do that because my daughter's asleep. And I was kind of thinking of putting these little fake trees out front or just somewhere else. I do, okay, so if you pull this back, I do like how it looks with them on each side of the fish tank, but I feel like it just makes it so we just put more stuff around it. We already have the dog food bowls and stuff over there. I figured if we took those away, it would just look more clean. So that's one thing I want to do eventually, but... Another thing I did, but I did not film it, was I wiped off as best as I could. I wiped all the blinds on each side of these little windows in the living room and dusted on the speaker tops and everywhere I could dust. I dusted up there as well. Basically, I just want to get my house in order before I start decorating for Christmas because we're going to get our tree about, I mean, after Thanksgiving, we're going to go get a tree. So either before, a couple days before that or on that day, I don't know, but like I'm going to start decorating for Christmas pretty soon. So I want to put as much of the clutter and everything away as possible because I'll probably be cluttering it up again with Christmas decor. But anyways, that is all I have for today's video. And thank you guys for watching. I have been busy. It isn't, it's a short video. It's crazy how much you can do. And it's just like, either I won't record it or I won't film the whole process, but I got so much done in my home, up, like through the weekend. I mean, the hallway is done. The hallway is all done. I painted all the trim. I took all the doors off the hinges and painted in the door frames. First I did the bathroom, then I did the door all the way down to the left. And then I did our bedroom. And then I did, I just finished my son Julian's. And 
it's kind of like repetitive so i didn't want to film all of it but i do like it so much better i think it makes a huge difference i probably have to do some touch up and do caulking and stuff like that um you know there are little like little areas that i need to fix but for the most part the biggest project is done and i feel really good about it i think it brightens up the hallway a lot more um i just think it looks a lot nicer with the trim painted and then it matches the rest of the house now so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you're proud of me because I do this a lot. I say, oh, I need to get this done. I need to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. I just got tired of saying I want it and I just went and did it. And I feel so good. I'm excited to get the cabinet doors under my sink put on finally. I don't even know how long they have been off. Over a year, probably two years. I don't know. There's so many things that just go, you know, undone. <laughs> and I'm just tired of it. It's like if there's paint that needs to be scraped off or paint that needs to be touched up, like I'm just, that's what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to get my house done. You know, I do have a long ways to go, but I made so much progress this weekend and I feel so good about it. I'm so happy. I do, however, need to paint some more on that door. That is still one coat, but I'm just kind of taking it easy today figured I would try my hardest to get this video out for you guys so you know what I've been up to I have been busy 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 but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope it motivates you to get something in your house done that has been needed it and thank you for watching I'll see you in my next one bye